In Trove, there's going to be plenty of stuff that is going to boost your progression. The biggest one is going to be the gem system. Inside the gem system, there's going to be a lot of important resources that you need to keep an eye on. That is going to boost not only your stats, but also your powering. The main one is going to be the gem dust and the gem spark. I've already covered everything regarding the gem system in this video right here which goes over everything that I need to talk about in regards to the gem system, going for augmentation, what type of gems are there in the game, and all of that. So if you're very interested in regards to the whole entirety of the gem system, I'll leave that in the description down below. Now, in this video I will be talking about what are going to be the gem dust and gem sparks, how to get them, and some of the best way to obtain them, some tips and tricks. So stick around throughout the whole video if you want to learn everything regarding this resource. First of all, Gem Dust and Gem Sparks. What are they? Gem Dust and Sparks are going to be a resource mainly used to level up gems. Gem Dust is going to be for leveling up gems up to level 25. After level 25, which only appears on Crystal Rarity Gem, you can start using the resource called the Gem Spark. There are going to be four types of Gem Dust and Sparks, Water, Air, Fire, and Cosmic. All of them are going to be used for the respected gem color. And all of them are going to serve the same purpose, which is going to be to level up gems. Now, how to obtain both gem dust and sparks? You mainly get them from loot collecting gem. Gem dust is going to appear on every single gem up to stellar rarity, and gem sparks is going to appear only on crystal gems. You can also get both of them from opening gem boxes, even though gem sparks only spawn in over 10 or over 11 water, air, fire, and prime gem boxes. And for the cosmic spark, is going to be only inside Uber 11 cosmic gem boxes. There's also going to be other boxes and tones that can drop gem dust, but you mainly need to remember about the loot collecting and the fact that you can get yourself sparks from gem boxes. So get to grind into the respective world to get yourself the highest potential dust and sparks. Speaking of sparks, you can exchange gem sparks into gem dust and vice versa in the adventures crafting bench inside the gems tab. Now, here's going to be some tips on how to get them quicker. First of all, there's going to be an honorable mention, Patron status. Patron status is going to be very very important in terms of actually grinding gem dust. Because by opening 35 gem boxes of one particular gem box, you can get yourself the Karma Bar, which is going to be a guaranteed rare drop. And for stuff like Uber 11, that's just a guaranteed crystal gem for 35 gem boxes. And for Uber 9 and Uber 10, it's going to be stellar or something like that which is not only very very good in terms of grinding gem dust and sparks, but this is also going to be very important in building your character with proper gems. So, patron status, very important. Moving on into the actual tips. First, if you are below 10,000 power rank, forget about grinding gem dust and focus on entering into Uber 9 first, so you can start grinding stellar gems. Do the gems league questline if you haven't finished it, and by the time that you do finish that questline, you should be very close if not over 10,000 power rank. So, this is going to be very important if you do complete this questline for early progression. Second, if you're capable of grinding over 9, you can do what a lot of people like to call the level 15 gem dust tactic, in which you level up a gem to level 15 to get yourself a larger gem dust profit per gem in exchange for spending flux. This is going to work on every single gem after resplendent quality or higher, but it is only recommended to do on stellar gems just because of the amount of flux that you do spend by doing this. Third, if you can get yourself crystal gem, you can also do the level 15 gem tactic to get yourself more gem sparks. However, the crystal gem leveling curve is a little bit easier than stellar gem. So, a lot of players will level up the gems to level 25 to get yourself 4 gem sparks per. I will personally go up to level 15 if I can just do uber 11 quite consistently. Mainly because, first of all, I'm lazy. And secondly, because I usually just accidentally press the level up button after reaching level 25 which does happen sometimes and that's just gen sparks lost right there. I would just do it up to level 15 if you can do uber 11 quite consistently because you will be grinding a lot of crystal gems nonetheless. Fourth, speaking of gen spark, if you are still not 30,000 power rank and can do uber 10 quite consistently, I would recommend you to do uber 10 instead of uber 9 if you're grinding stellar gems. Not only will you get more stellar gem drops because they do drop as an uncommon drop for uber 10 water, air, fire, and prime gem boxes, they're also going to have a chance of getting yourself gem sparks, which is again 30,000 gem dust 
per and that is going to be really good to boost your all of your gems all the way to level 25 if you don't have all of your stellar gems to 25. Sparks of course will not draw from Geo Topside Uber 10, this is something that is going to happen in the other elemental worlds and the prime portal. Cosmic Sparks only appear in Uber 11 Cosmic Gem Boxes. Fifth, and I will always say this, if you can get yourself into a high level club, please do yourself a favor and join them. Because if that club has the effigy upon opulence fixture active, you can get yourself prime gem boxes on the Uber that you're at. So if you're doing something like just say Uber 10 Geo Topside, then you actually have a chance of getting yourself Uber 10 prime gem boxes, which once again can drop gem sparks, which are going to be very good in terms of dust farming. And the last one, six, and this is going to be someone who does have a lot of extra class gem keys. And that is going to be if you're getting yourself a lot of extra class gem keys by doing the weekly leaderboard contest, then you should go ahead and go into the Uber 9 shorts of the Everdark so you can get yourself more class gem. And this is going to be really good if you're below 30,000 power rank because you actually have a chance of getting yourself crystal class gem, which is a lot of gen sparks which means it's going to be a lot of gem dust. And since class gem is going to be empowered gems, you can also use those empowered gem fragments to get yourself stellar empowered gem boxes if you're still missing the ideal empowered gem or if you want to get yourself more gem dust. You can also do also exactly the same thing with the lunar souls going into the shadowy market inside the shadow tower lobby to get yourself more empowered gem boxes for again the potential of more empowered gems. But remember that Lunar Souls are also going to be used for the Content Chaos Spark, which is going to be the Gem Reroller. So don't spend all of your Lunar Souls if you're planning to do Gem Rerolls. So yeah, those are going to be everything regarding the Gem Dust and Gem Sparks. There's also going to be the Primal Gem Shard, which is going to be something that you are going to level up gems past level 28. Again, this is only on Crystal Gems. And the only way to get them is just by crafting them in the Adventures Crafting Bench with 4 Gem Sparks of each color. This is going to be something on a very expensive resource, but this is also another thing that it is going to be used to level up your gems. And that's going to be everything for me. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for sticking as always. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content like this, and let me know if you want me to cover a very specific resource in more detail. With all that being said, thank you once again for watching. Thank you for being patient as always. I know I've been a little bit lackluster in regards to the uploads, but you know what, I've just been taking a little bit more chill uh, lately. But again, I'll be getting more back into the swing of things and just going back into the editing process. But anyways, with all that being said, thanks for watching.